Hi, VJ. How's it going in Shanghai? Really well. Thanks, Anna. I'll be back at the weekend. Excellent. So what are your thoughts about this new food square? I think we're onto something great here. I've just seen our market research for the UK, and it's saying that increasing numbers of people don't want to cook for themselves. They're crying out for a quick, healthy snack they can eat on the go. So the market for instantly available food is really growing. And we know that cooking destroys lots of valuable nutrients. Absolutely. Plus, fresh food's increasing in cost. The research also shows that more and more people aren't getting enough vitamins. We're planning to add lots of vitamins to this food square. Can we add some lemon juice too for the ascorbic acid? We can say it protects against infections. Are we adding any minerals? Sure. And the recipe we've devised includes a good amount of fat and sugar to bind the square together and help keep its shape. And that'll make it taste really great too. Absolutely. We have to make a profit on this. We can't have another failure like those broccoli-flavoured chocolate bars last year. Exactly. And we have to make the bar look healthy. There's a lot of backlash at the moment against so-called unhealthy foods. Well, that was the reason we launched the broccoli-flavoured chocolate bars. Yes. Well, let's up the fibre level by adding some bran that always encourages the healthy food lobby. How about promising some of the profits to a food charity? Great idea. But seriously, if people are short of vitamins and minerals, this will be a genuinely useful food to include in their diet. Agreed. VJ, let me show you how far we've got with the TV ad. You are a busy 21st century citizen and you need lots of energy to keep up with your busy 21st century life. And because you don't want to miss appointments, sometimes you miss meals. You need instant healthy snacks to keep that pace up and those energy levels flying. Now, imagine a sensational combination of plums and bananas, flakes of almond and toasted oats, a generous scattering of sugar, a swirl of organic butter, and a hefty dose of vitamins and minerals. Now, stop imagining because it's here. The new Fruit Munchy Square. The tailor-made energy snack for the 21st century. What do you think? I really like that. Let's post that for the rest of the team to see and we'll talk about it next week in London. Thanks, VJ. Bye. Welcome to the latest video podcast from the global headquarters of the Honest Meal Cooperative, the place for unbiased advice on healthy food. Today I want to talk to you about the dangers of so-called pre-made foods. They're not really foods at all, just collections of chemicals cooked up in a factory. A new food square is being developed by a certain well-known food conglomerate and it's being submitted to the British Institute of Eating Control this week. It's the perfect example of everything that's wrong with modern foods. What do you do with it? You just take it out of the wrapper and eat it straight away. No cooking or preparation involved at all. No savouring the beautiful fresh produce. No aromas of food cooking on the stove. No connection, no emotion, no passion. How can it be good for you? There are claims that this food square will provide people with vitamins and minerals. They've even added ascorbic acid to the product. Who wants to eat food with acid in it? Would you? And what's more, this food square is cheap. That's great, I hear you say. Cheap is good. But no, my friends, cheap is not always good when it comes to food. Food is important. Food sustains us and makes us healthy. Join the fight for honest meals. Lobby the British Institute of Eating Control and get them to ban this so-called food square.